Hello Embodied Astrology Collective Alchemists. I'm very excited to be presenting you with this integrated presentation as we wrap up the last week of March 2022, which has been navigating the waters of the planetary consciousness that is Pluto. And I found it to be appropriate to dive back into the astrological magical roots of this, in essence, orientation to the cosmos and to our essence nature and the relationship between the cosmos and our essence nature. This is quite a Plutonic topic. Of course, you could say all magical, occult, ritualistic, shamanic practices are Plutonic in nature. And so I found it to be opportunistic of myself to just dive back in to the roots of astrology magic and the roots that we have now interpreted, interpreted, excuse me, many, many hundreds of years after the original texts of some of these ancient magical practitioners who are often physicians and scientists of sorts who were able to write down and share the contemplative and causal effects their practices and their orientation to the world had on consciousness and the individual who was ready for this type of relationship to consciousness. So without further ado, Let's get started. As you know, astrology magic is the dialogue with the natural rhythms of the universe. Astrology practice and study, therefore, illuminates sympathetic correspondence between everything in the cosmos. So the more you practice, the more you study, the more the magic will in essence, come alive, the dialogue will enhance and become very, very normal for you. As your life is a microcosm that reflects the microcosm, and there is a transmission of experience between each planet and each person, we each have our unique relationship to consciousness and to each planetary consciousness as well. In astrologic magic, there is something called the golden chain that you may have heard of. The idea of the golden chain has roots in Homer and Plato's times, and the vast golden chain that is said to have linked all life on earth to the heavens, again, most originated, most likely originated from Homer developed by Plato and then carried forth into the Middle Ages and Renaissance, which is where we have the most substantial texts on astrological magic, which we'll get into in a few moments. 